Getting ready for St. Patrick's Day with our friend Janine Washley from Cloverfields Farm and Kitchen. She is sharing her Irish recipes with us and Tell us what's on the menu, Janine. Cinnamon raisin oatmeal bread pudding. Mm, sounds oh, good. Oh my goodness. Now the oats are in the bread, mm -hmm. and so you can make a really pretty bread. It's super easy. Um, the way that I wrote the recipe, you can make it in a bread machine, or you can make it by hand if you'd like to. Mm -hmm. But the oats are in the bread. You've got this big cinnamon swirl, and then it's studded with raisins. So once you've had you know, a couple breakfasts off of it, you might want to use the leftovers. You don't want to throw them away, so you can make a bread pudding. Why is this considered an Irish dish? Because of the oats. Oats are a popular crop in mm -hmm. Ireland, and we're also going to put some Irish whiskey. You can use some Bailey's Irish cream in there, mm -hmm. and if you don't want you know, the alcohol element, let's say you're serving it to children, mm -hmm. you can substitute vanilla extract. Okay, so like we're having fun with that. some whiskey and some oats today and making this bread pudding. I like it. Let's get started. Super easy. So we've taken our day-old um, uh, cinnamon oatmeal bread, mm -hmm. and I've taken um, actually coconut oil and spread it over the top. You can use butter if you want to be traditional. And even though we're using eggs and we're using some dairy, um, make smart choices where you can. I actually baked the bread instead of using butter. I used the mm -hmm. coconut oil and it was wonderful. Which is similar to butter. It has it that really consistency. Is. It really is. A lot of people, they ask me, well, if it's oil, isn't it oily like vegetable oil? Mm -hmm. No, it's solid like um, butter. So yeah. you can totally uh, you know, switch it out. So we make smart choices where we can. And uh -huh. I've got four eggs in here and take that quarter cup of sugar and dump it in there. Okay. I'll just whisk it right in. Then take our milk mixture and go ahead and just pour all of it in there. Is this whole milk, Janine? It's whole milk and some cream. Okay. Just a little bit for richness because bread pudding has a reputation just like we were talking about shepherd's pie and we're going to put a quarter cup of Irish whiskey in there. Okay. Um, bread pudding has a reputation for being um, something that a lot of restaurants get wrong. They put big chunks of bread, and it doesn't have to be like that. It can be very delicate and delicious. And you also want to get more of a pudding ratio versus a bread ratio. Okay. A lot of times they'll use up stale bread, and um, you know they'll just put big chunks in there, mm -hmm. and that's not really how you want to do it. So we're okay. just taking it, we're layering it like this, and then you're going to come in and you're going to take our custard and slowly okay. pour it all around and over. And okay. then what will happen is after the custard goes in there, it will sit for 20 minutes to allow the bread slices to soak up that custard. It looks like a lot of custard, but just pour it right over the, perfect, over the top, but okay. the bread will absorb much of it. And you'll end up with a 50-50 ratio of pudding to um, the bread. So it'll be really soft. The other trick, Oh, you're doing a perfect job. All then, in, Janine? You mean pour it all in there? Um, actually, why don't we stop right there? That okay. dish is a little odd shape. I got shape. excited. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay, but that is perfect. 20 minutes later, we're going to mm -hmm. take parchment paper. Put the parchment paper down, put the foil down, and what happens is a lot of times when we're served bread pudding mm -hmm. in a restaurant, you've got these hard burnt bits and the raisins are burnt, and this right. is so irritating to me. I can't stand it. Mm -hmm. But if you touch this, it's nice and it's set but it's nice and soft. Sure and that's is. because wow. the steam helps to keep that soft. So this is our beautiful end product. Oh, I love it's it. I, easy. I can't wait to try it. You can 40 minutes, so under an hour. All right. You can find other recipes on our website. You can find Jenny Washley's information to where you send her an email. She'll send okay. you more recipes. That's on WDRB.com. Janine, always so good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. And happy St. Patrick's Day. Right back at you. Okay.